guys oh my gosh I'm having the best day ever I got so many new palettes I had ordered I got my Ace Beauté order even though they kind of messed up they didn't send me the purple palette so I'm a little bit bummed I got the new Juvia's Place the Freak palette and now I found my ABH order my Norvina palette is here so I guess it's okay I'm not gonna die if I don't get the Ace Beauté palette even though I paid for it so hopefully they will get that sorted out but let's go ahead and swatch the Norvina palette you guys oh my goodness I love ABH's customer service they do an amazing job their shipping is so quick and they always send you a label in case you want to return your palette which I think is wonderful oh my gosh I love this color so pretty such a pretty palette ooh it's looking a little dusty and here's what the inside looks like. Let me just grab my other two palettes since everyone's like thinking these are all like boring-esque, which they are, but you know, some people like to collect a huge palette. So there it is against the modern Renaissance. And then we have the soft glam, which I've also been loving. Uh oh. There it is against the soft glam palette. And I have been loving both of these palettes because I wanted to play with them some more while I was waiting for this one to launch. And especially because I didn't review either of these, I don't think, for my channel. When I got the Modern Renaissance, I think I had stopped making YouTube videos. So I'm excited. Let's go ahead and swatch the mattes first. I'm excited for the mattes. So let's see. This shade is like the most controversial shade on YouTube right now because everyone's like, there's not enough purple in the palette, which I kind of do agree, but I honestly bought this, guys, because I collect ABH palettes. Like, I've been collecting ABH palettes for a long time. I recently got rid of a bunch of them because I just didn't use them. I had some of the older ones, like the self-made palette and stuff, and even though I'm like a collector, I didn't want to like hoard them if I wasn't ever going to use them, you know? So these are some of the first matte shades. We have Base, Soul, Incense, Love, and Volatile, which is Electric and Passion. I feel like these two shades are so controversial in this palette because everyone's like, I don't know why she didn't do more purpley matte shades, which I totally agree with. She should have probably done that. But, you know, we don't have any control over these situations. So it is what it is. And now I'm going to swatch the Metallics. I don't know, I feel like, is this palette gonna blow anyone away? Probably not. Especially after I got the two palettes I got today. This one seems really basic. But, sometimes that's all you need, is like a basic go-to deal. Look at the metallics though, they are like poppin' dude. And then I just have two more. I don't know, I just feel like Anastasia palettes are just reliable. And, you know, Bridal, those are some of the words I think of. So we have Dreamer, Summer, Wild Child, Rose Gold, Celestial, Dazzling, and Drama. So here are all the swatches of the new Norvina palette. Okay guys, that is a quick swatch party video. Let me know, did you guys get the new ABH palette? Because I'm excited to play with this one. Do you guys want to see a review on this? I feel like there's a jillion reviews on the internet already, but I just wanted you to see some swatches on my skin tone in case you guys were considering buying this palette. And I already touched it with eyeshadow, so it's gonna get dirty. Anyway guys, I will catch you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you did find this video useful, definitely go ahead and subscribe and give it a thumbs up, and I will see you again soon. Bye!